Hi kids, right now I am going to challenge you to make something on your iPad using the photo collage app Pick Kids. If this isn't already installed on your iPad, you will need to go to the app portal and locate it. It has a blue square with a little red circle that's kind of like an apple on it. Okay, so once you've installed that on your iPad, you're going to press to open it and it's going to open up a menu and we want to make a freestyle collage because we're going to turn this into sort of a poster that tells our teacher all about who we are. So press freestyle, it's the big box at the bottom and that will open up a menu to let you do different things with this blank page. We are going to first change the background color by pressing the purple circle with the white box and then if I scroll through the colors on the bottom I can either choose a color or a pattern when I have a color that I like, I'm going to press the, the check mark and that will change the background of my poster to the color. Now if I want to add more content, I'm just going to press the plus sign. So the first thing I'm going to add is my name. I'm going to press the pink circle with the A and then you can change the font by pressing the T. By pressing the A, you can change the color. Um, you can fill in the background and then there's some more things that you could play around with. Now when we type in our name, only type in your first name because we should not be using our first and last name on things if we're being good digital citizens. When my name looks good, I'm just going to press the check and then I can tap my name and I can use my fingers to pinch it in and out and resize it and put it where I want it to go. So now that my name is there, I'm going to press the plus again. And now I'm going to add a photo that's the green circle that has little mountains in it. And um, before you add photos, you need to ask permission from a trusted adult if you can take photos to add. Or you will need to um, maybe find photos or take photos of things, not people. So here I'm just going to add a picture of a thing because this is okay for me to add. I can resize, I can pinch. If I double tap this, there's a whole menu of things that I can play around with to change what that picture looks like. So that's something fun for you to try out on your own. All right, let me go back down to my plus. And this time I'm going to add something from the internet because I don't have a picture of a sloth, which is what I want to add. I'm going to press this blue circle with a magnifying glass. And then I'm going to type in my search and press search. And then all these pictures will come up. I can use a cute still image of a sloth if I wanted, or if I press over here where it says GIFs, G-I-F-S, I can add a moving picture. So GIFs are moving pictures. I found one that I like. When I have my images that I'm going to add, I'm going to press my check mark. I can move around, resize, and that sort of thing. The last thing I'm going to add are stickers. Um, stickers are the white circle. It says new I just press those. You may have to download sticker packs, but if you scroll through at the bottom, um, these here at the bottom are free. So I'm going to add a couple of stickers. Once I have all my little stickers that I want to add, these are all things that I like and would want to share with my teacher. I press the check mark. And then again, I'm just going to resize. So that's good. All right. Well, my poster has some things on it that I love. So now I'm ready to share it. On the bottom right hand corner, there's a box with an arrow coming out. Remember, that's our share feature. So if I press that, that is going to save it to my library. It might ask you permission to have access to your photos. Make sure you give that permission. Once it's finished, it will say save to library. I press the check mark and I press my home button, open my photos, and there's my image that I made that I'm ready to share.